train in Rochester is interrupted by a solicitor acting on Mason's behalf, who announces the shocking news that Rochester already has a wife. The incurably insane creature, Bertha Mason, kept locked away in an upper room. Jane cannot proceed with the wedding and runs away from Thornfield, leaving a visibly agitated and heartbroken Rochester behind. Far away, desperate and distraught, Jane is taken in by a clergyman and his two sisters. As time passes, the young pastor is quite taken with Jane and proposes to her that she become a missionary wife and travel with him to India. But Jane cannot return his affection in that way, for her heart must first discover what has happened to Mr. Rochester. She returns to Thornfield to find it smoking and smoldering in ruins, the result of a blaze set by the lunatic Bertha Mason, who then sprang from the battlements and fell dead on the pavement below. Rochester refused to leave the burning house until everyone else was out. A falling beam knocked one eye out, and the other was so inflamed that he lost sight in it as well. He was taken from the ruins, barely alive and stone blind. Jane now stands before him. Who's there? Who is it? Answer me. Did he ask you to marry him? He did. That is a fiction! 